It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Doug's and White But and True. And it's a bottle of the Twin Pines double IPA. And this one's coming in at 8.8% .8 ABV. White But and True, fantastic brewery from the Bristol area in the UK. And of course, Doug's, Swedish craft beer. Big fan of their beers. Um, golden bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. But what I do get is, look at that, look at the suspension there in the bottle. Doesn't that look good? It looks like the universe in a bottle. Here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, but bit of a aggressive pour there that was my fault it would have poured lovely and I just it just kicked must be that alcoholics hand of mine just kicked it over quick pour it in right uh, two finger slightly off white head that suspension has traveled through into the into the glass of beer golden in color slightly hazy good carbonation let's get the aroma Juicy, juicy number. Lots of grapefruit, lots of pine, lots of orange, a little bit of mango. For me, it reminds me of a little bit like the original Stone Ruination on the aroma. Like there's a lot lurking underneath. This is going to be a real big bitter monster. Should we find out? Cheers. Oh, whoa! Oh. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a fantastic beer. I was just about to say. Oh, it's got a nice biscuity malty beginning and then smack the hops hit me. But it wasn't just bitterness. There was some good flavour in there. There was some good grapefruit flavour. There was some nice orange peel, lemon peel, pininess piling through. And then some nice spicy bitterness on the back end. Lovely beer. And indeed it does, it does remind me Slightly more in the aroma, I would say. It, it reminds me of the original Stone Ruination. There is a lot of biscuity maltiness in there. Not necessarily saying the beer is old. I think it's just, it's got a little bit of balance to it. It's very fresh. I only picked this up just a couple of weeks ago and I was advertised this on Twitter. My local bottle shop tagged me in posts on Twitter. So I picked this up no more than probably three weeks ago. So it's still very fresh. Perhaps they wanted a little bit of a little bit of balance in there, a little bit of biscuity malt coming through. And they've achieved that. Yeah, it's a lovely beer. It's a lovely beer. Let's see what the, the brewery says. Uh, this beer is a collab with our friends from Wipen and True. They wanted to do a Swedish version of their Piney Amber Ale. Together, we decided to ramp it up in every way. Take a walk on the pine side. Lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, let's give it a rating then. Great Scott. Is that the hop variety? Or maybe they normally kind of say Swedish craft beer in that bar, but yeah, um, that's the Doug's Wiper and True Twin Pines Double IPA rating. I'm gonna give this one It looks good in the glass. Look at that nice bit of lace in there Good head like a little bit of suspension there from the the unfilteredness of the beer nice color 
good aroma, great taste. This is a 9 out of 10 all day long. 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.